everyone, Basil Chapman. This is 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. Dow's down 350 at 34,391. Look at these red candles. Uh, Thursday, huge 500 point down. Friday, 500 point down. And so far today, only 360 points down below the 200 pre moving average. There has to be some support coming in very, very soon. Uh, it's starting to look quite ugly. And we're looking at the S&P. So the Dow is down 1.02%. The S&P is down 0.69%, down 30 at 4388. And that's what I was talking about in my show, the target conditions are there is some underlying buying going on, but it can't be, it just isn't sustainable. It just doesn't seem to be, at the same time, there's a lot of selling and you can see some buying comes in. So the Qs are up 0.23%. Up 78 cents at 347.90s. Um, trying to find some support, but this is the thing. Over the, the intermediate term, the daily sell mode, the weekly sell mode, I'm watching that monthly chart really closely because at any point below three 332 is a real problem, a close below that. IWM and the Russell 2000, Russell 2000 is down 26 cents at 201.17, just down 0.1%. Uh, it's holding a little bit better than the others. We, we might start to see some rotation going on the next week or so. We're looking at gold. Gold is acting really well. It is up, oh, it's even more. It's up 28 to 1870 right now. This is what happens for the geopolitical scene. I always think of, of gold as a currency of fear. It's kind of what's happening here. It's acting very well in the daily. Weekly is improving, monthly chart. Uh, needs a lot of work to improve. And if you're looking at the dollar, the dollar is actually also holding reasonably well. In fact, it's up 26 ticks at 96.84. How do you get the two together? I tried to explain it in my show, the Tiger Ignitions Hour, a few minutes ago. Uh, and we're looking at um, the TLT. This is really important. That's bonds. Bonds are down again, so yields are pushing higher. That's really important uh, in the overall aspect. Now, uh, just let me tell you that I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. It should be a great show as always. We've got Larry, then we've got Think or Swim, we've got Steve Rhodes, we've got Dave White. I'll be back at 3 o'clock to do the Tom O'Brien show. So stay tuned, folks, and have a wonderful day. And I think we're just about to wrap up. I want you to see the VIX index. Let me just make this clear. The VIX index, which is uh, at 30 right now, if later in the day starts to get back towards the 31, uh, 31 area, that means the pressure for selling is going to be there. If out of the blue you suddenly see the VIX start to uh, trade under 29, we could see a pretty nice bounce. <laughs> Have a great day. See you a little later on at 3 p.m. for the Tom O'Brien Show. And don't forget, we start off at 9 with Tommy Jr.